Jeremy Weiss here. We're here live at Retail X. I'm here with Jason. And Jason, tell people what you do. Hi, Jeremy. You uh, do so many things. So. I, I, I do a lot. Uh, I just founded a new company called Avenue 7 Media. We are a product and Amazon marketing agency. So we help do everything from help clients take their product, their great product, and put together a branding message. Uh, we do the visual aspects and SEO on Amazon, which is so important these days for our product listings. And then we help drive traffic to the listings both on Amazon and off Amazon for basically Amazon success. But the interesting thing is when I speak to my clients, we talk about Amazon as a starting point for a product because there's so much great product feedback that you get when you have success and you sell on Amazon. And so we process that information for our clients and we feed it back to them and they say, hey, you know, a client, your blue product is great. A client left a product review and would have loved it in red. What do you think about adding a variation? Or, you know, this product worked 80% well, but 20% said that we needed some additional features. So we'll share that information with them and help them iterate on their product to become a 4.5 star reviewed product and, you know, take off in the rankings. So walk me through an interesting client that you've had. Well, um, I have a very interesting client and I know I, most of my clients have NDAs, but I know Carlo, Carlo yeah. won't mind me talking about it. It's a fascinating product. He's an inventor. He was a jeweler for decades, mm. and he developed easily the best jewelry cleaning product on the market. Mm. It's called, wait for it, Jewelry Spa Hot Tub. Okay. So Carlo came to me, and he spent four years of his life and an entire fortune, uh, his, his entire life's earnings, developing this product. Wow. Why is he so passionate around a jewelry spa hot tub? What? Well, it's, it's, it's a great question. Many people don't know this, but this jewelry carries nasty germs. Oh. It can transmit disease if it's not cleaned. Not only is it important for the jewelry to look good, and he's a jeweler. So, you know, he wants you, when you buy a product from him, he wants you to come back five years and have it look like you just bought it. So he developed this product. And he, he had an early product called an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner. But what we learned and what Carlo learned and shared with me is the ultrasonic vibrates and it damages jewelry. Oh, you can lose stones. Right. So he came up with the best solution. It involves um, sort of this, this, this special cup. You pour a cleaning solution, a non-toxic cleaning solution in, you heat it up in the microwave. And then he developed a spin, swi spin swish technology that oh. you put over your drain so you don't lose your jewelry. And you put the heated, <laughs> the heated solution and your jewelry this comes out serious. not only clean, but, but disinfected. So you're not spreading any more disease. So I, I'm really passionate about this product. And uh, we had a lot of bumps on the yeah, road. So what did you do with him? What did he come to you with? And what did you do with him? He was smart. He said, look, Jason, I want to be on Amazon. And I know you've built eight figure businesses on Amazon. And I want you to use your expertise to help me get ranked. And so um, he had a lot of bumps in the road due to some some challenges on the Amazon platform related to his account setup. So for example, some of his addresses were different because he had a jewelry store, he had an office for jewelry spa hot tub, and he had his home address. So Amazon rejected his account and mm. suspended his account. It took us a couple months to get him unsuspended. But once we did, um, you know, his product has just taken off. So it's ranking well, it's being put in the best possible light, and uh, people love it. He's got all five-star reviews. I've never seen a product launch without a bad review. Mm. Uh, so there's a case study yeah. for you. Um, talk about some of the other most popular services people uh, ask of you. Well, a lot of what they need, they don't ask for. Right. Um, so they want they, the sexy stuff, like more they, sales. They want more sales. Yeah. They want more sales. And so it's my job to, you know. So yeah, talk about what they ask for. Okay. And what you do and then what they actually need. Okay, sure. Yeah. So, you know, we help product companies have success on Amazon. So that's... but. Well, I was an entrepreneur like for 17 PPC years. Like yeah, we, we manage the sponsored ads, Amazon sponsored ads, headline ads. We help them get brand registered. We SEO their listings so that it will pop up on the organic search results. Um, they just want sales, right? They want sales. So we'll take a look at what their assets are, their photography, their video. We'll read about if it's an existing product and it has reviews, we'll read the negative reviews. We'll do research for competitive products, find out what's wrong with them, and we'll provide them with some product intelligence in the category, and they may just say, I don't care, I just want you to get me sales. But we'll say, look, here's the path to success on Amazon, here's the path to success with a successful product, you have to listen to the customer. 
and you have to pay attention to what they're saying about your competitors and also about what they're saying about your product and you have to adapt and you have to iterate your product. If you do that and you do all the other things like put the proper branding message together, focus on the benefits that your product provides to the customer rather than the features and the size and the dimensions. All those are important but they're secondary to if I'm going to give you my credit card and you send me this product, I want to know what's in it for me, right? So we help them answer that question with their product and we help them know what, um, what they can do to improve on their product so that it has long-term success. So that it can be an eight-figure, nine-figure product uh, or product suite. So, so that's what we do. So they come to us and they say, we want sales, but we say, okay, hey, you want sales, but there's a lot we got to do before we get you to the point where you're going to get a lot of sales. And this is what we recommend. So it's a, it's a lot. It's, we've, got a, we've got a laundry list of about, we call it seven steps, but each step has six or seven elements right. of the steps to success. What type of clients are best to work with you? So my heart is with entrepreneurs, startups. I like folks that have a great product idea, like Carlo, who really solves a problem in the marketplace. And he put all of his time and heart and soul into developing this great product that really works better than anything else in the market. I love the Carlos of the world, right? I mean, look. My, do they have to be a certain level to work with you? They don't. The, they don't have to be a certain level. So I'll take them if they've got zero sales. Um, ideally, I like customers doing at least half a million, 250 to 500,000 in, in revenue. We've got some that are doing much more than that, and we use these sort of bootstrap models that we developed in my own businesses to help them succeed uh, profitably, which has become a problem on Amazon. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I love people that are passionate about their product mm. and um, that I can help, that yeah. I can provide value to. Biggest mistakes you see sellers making or brands making? Could be on Amazon, it could be off Amazon. I got two for you. Yeah. So for the big brands, the ones that say, oh, I'm a prestige brand and I don't want to be on Amazon, it's a huge mistake. That used to be the case seven, eight years ago. But if you have a product that you're selling direct to your own website or that's out there in the brick and mortar retail and you're not protecting your brand on Amazon, you're in trouble. If you don't want to be on Amazon, too bad. I'll give you a, I'll give you a case study, Birkenstock. Birkenstock CEO famously came out last year and said, we're not going to sell on Amazon. Jeremy, pull out your phone right now on your Amazon app yeah. and see if you can buy a Birkenstock on Amazon. There are thousands of listings and they're terrible because gray market folks have gotten a hold of it, resellers have gotten a hold of it, and they're not putting the brand Birkenstock, which is a storied brand, in the best possible light on Amazon. That CEO, I'm sorry, Birkenstock CEO, you made a terrible mistake. So that's the, that's the big thing for big brands. You, you have to be on Amazon now, if for nothing else, to play defense, to right. protect your retail price integrity, to put your brand in the best possible light, right? Yeah. It's half of the online market share now. You can't ignore it any longer. Um, and then sort of the next big mistake that I see from folks who want to have success on Amazon is they look for the quick hit. They look for black hat tactics. They hire the folks that are in China that are bribing employees on Amazon and that are getting found out and ultimately they're getting suspended. This is a long game. Amazon is a long game. If you think that you're going to be smarter than Amazon and mess with URLs or you know pay for reviews or bribe somebody in the Shenzhen office or the Dongguan office, right? You've never heard of any of these things happening, No, right? no, never. I've never heard of any of these things. If you do that, <laughs> you will get suspended. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but Amazon will yeah. find I mean, out. If you're really looking to build a long-term company and brand, you just don't do those things. Do it all above board. Do the right things. Right. Put in the time, the energy, the blood, sweat, and tears required to have a successful brand. And it may take longer to get the success than you want, but trust me, once that flywheel starts spinning on Amazon and you've done all the right things to fix your product, you've done all the right things in SEO, and you're driving the right kind of profitable traffic to your listings, both off Amazon and on, the thing will skyrocket. And you'll do more sales on Amazon than you can on your own site even. Yeah. So yeah, so there's lots of mistakes out there. Those are just two highlights. Jason, tell people where they can find out more about you and, and what you do. Well, great. Avenue 7 media.com so it's the word avenue the number seven media.com they can reach me there they can also send me an email directly jason at avenue seven media.com and um, you know if you've got a great product idea you're just starting out or you've been on amazon for a while and you haven't had success give me a call i'll give you a free consultation and i'll let you know if i can help you if i can't i'll tell you awesome
Jeremy Weiss, live from Retail X.